I bought this flowering Kalankoya succulent plant from Trader Joe's store on May 14, 2019. The following is a two-week long time-lapse recording of this Kalankoya flower blooming. All flowers bloom through the month and wilted by June 12. I want to check if this plant can grow with roots in water, like uh, some other succulents do in my aquarium gardens. Remove the plant from the pot. Wash it clean of any soil. It is very important to remove all dirt. I cut off all wilted leaves and remains of flowers. Notice that all flowers grow from one stem. I have prepared a base for my aquarium garden. Please check my previous video for details about it. I have to remove half of the roots to make the plant fit through the hole in the base. Otherwise I would keep them. Pull all roots through the hole. Keep all leaves above the base. The roots should hang out through the bottom of the straw. Let's put the base on top of an aquarium. Make sure ends of the roots hang in the water, but the straw should remain above water level. The design of this aquarium garden reduces water evaporation, while providing plants on top of the garden with water and nutrition fish waste dissolved in the water. Here you can see the same plant about three months later on September 3rd, 2019. The roots grow healthy, about double in the size. There are two new stems with many leaves on each stem. The new leaves are a lighter green color compared to the old which are dark green. The plant gets only indirect sunlight since it grows on top of an aquarium with fish. I added other plants into this garden. More about them in future videos. The water level is about the same. All looks great. I will keep you updated on this plant. Have fun and happy gardens.